Jefferson. The current county executive, Jack Johnson, will not be running for re-election. He is term limited. America's first black female billionaire is sharing her recipe for success while also being honored for it. Washington Mystics owner Sheila Johnson was recognized today by D.C. Delegate Eleanor Holmes Norton. Norton was surrounded by female high school basketball players from around D.C. as she presented Johnson a congressional award. Johnson encouraged the young women to follow her example of hard work, saying they should strive to be champions on the court and in life. The students then took part in a basketball clinic with Mystics player Alana Beard and Marissa Coleman. I had our news for it for a royal flap. The controversy surrounding a high profile visit by Queen Elizabeth and it's all over a set of stairs. Plus another major airline is preparing to launch flights from Washington Reagan National Airport. Also an update this afternoon that amazing story involving three Rottweiler puppies that were rescued from a DC home. And a quick programming note. We know you're getting up earlier in the morning. So are we. That's why News for Today now begins at 4.30 in the morning. Join Joe Krebs and An Yang every weekday morning at their new start time for the latest news, weather, and traffic. Early dawn and wildlife awakens. It's how your day begins at Asbury, the community where your life is enriched in every way, where every day offers new possibilities and inspires you to thrive, all in an atmosphere of comfort and convenience. Come join us for a compliment lunch. See what superior living is like. Call to visit us at 301-216-4449. Asbury Methodist Village. We're here for your future. Natalie is the last one to leave home, but not a moment too soon, right? <laughs> Howard Elena was saving for Natalie's college since she was born. She's going to need a lot of stuff. Those everyday things we didn't plan on. So we showed them how Wachovia's Way to Save program could help. Every time they swipe their check card to make a purchase, a dollar is automatically transferred from their checking account to their savings account. And they get a bonus just for saving. My bedroom is going to be turned into an office for them, and so I'm giving back to them. <laughs> With you when it's time to save. Wachovia, a Wells Fargo company. Still ahead on News 4 at 4, why putting your phone number on the do not call list won't guarantee telemarketers will stop harassing you. Plus, the new tool and procedure that's helping people struggling with hair loss problems. The people who walked these streets before us were just like you and me. With hopes, dreams, challenges. Today, we do more than just walk the same streets. For a moment, we get to walk in their shoes, preparing us for what lies ahead down our next road. Be part of the story. Colonial Williamsburg. If I could talk to all the women out there, I'd say don't ignore your body. If you think you're not feeling right, see a doctor. We listen to everybody else first. Our husbands, our children. It's time to listen to ourselves. Men and women do not have the same heart disease symptoms. To find out if you're a woman at risk, get a free Listen to Your Heart Kit today. Call 202-877-DOCS. A message from Washington Hospital Center, Care First Blue Cross Blue Shield, and NBC4. Checkers new more for less menu. Get the big size and big you crave. Pick any two full-sized insanely good items for just four bucks. Like our double bacon cheddar crisp loaded big with bacon in every bite. Get the largest seasoned fries and biggest drinks on our menu. Checkers more for less menu. Eleven big choices. Any two, just four bucks. Only at Checkers. Little place, big taste. You're watching News 4 at 4. Two of the three Rottweiler puppies rescued from a D.C. home have now found new homes. One dog has already been adopted by a fire station in Hyattsville. The other will go to a family in suburban Maryland. The third dog, this one, the little Iris, who had her leg amputated, will be ready for adoption next week. Police found the dogs after a call to a D.C. home, a domestic call. The Washington Humane Society is still investigating the case. They are little sweethearts, aren't they? Aren't they? So cute. If I didn't have one at home already, <laughs> not a Rottweiler, but let's check on the weather. What a great day to get outside and walk your dog. Beautiful.